The man picked by Prime Minister David Cameron to be Britain's next European Commissioner has faced a second round of questioning from MEPs. Jonathan Hill went on a charm offensive dismissing British press reports that painted him as a Eurosceptic as untrue. But it's unclear whether he's done enough to win backing from parliamentarians. Hill faced repeated questioning about his lobbying past. To state the case extremely simply, there are no conflicts of interest. I have no financial interests of any sort. Uh, from the past and I will behave in the interest of the uh, whole uh, European Union, not in the interests of any member state or indeed of any financial interests within any particular member state. Yet questions remain for some MEPs. One German parliamentarian said there could be a conflict of interest with his former clients. The doubts remain about the portfolio because uh, he is not ready to live up to the transparency he promised for the future up to the past. He was not giving us names for which financial services companies he worked for. And therefore he seems as a man who has something to hide. I thought Jonathan Hill gave a very confident performance. In fact he gave a good performance last time. I don't think it was the performance that was the reason for him being called back. He was called back because he's a British Conservative. So there are political reasons why we're going through this second hearing. MEPs are set to vote on the next European Commission as a whole on October the 22nd.